hi everyone so today I am here with a huge clear jelly stamper comparison and I already recorded this video last week but I didn't have my new lighting yet so I figured I would just do it all over again so you guys can see better and I have I believe 11 12. So I have 12 clear jelly stampers and they were all purchased on eBay or AliExpress and the only one I have that's more than that was more than a few dollars is this Winstonia XL see-through stamper. But every other one is a um cheap clear jelly stamper. They all work Every single one of them worked right out of the package, not having to wash them with soap and water or anything. I always just run my lint roller over them, and they work great. So, I will link as many as I can in the description box so you guys can check them out as well. But, I'm just going to show you how they all look. This one is the infamous little rectangle one. Some people call it square. I see a rectangle. But um, this one actually surprised me in the last video. And it's not super squishy. This is the double-sided one. And it's a little squishier than the last. And in order to see through, you have to take the other head out. And then there's like a letter K that's kind of in your way, but I think you can see good enough to stamp. Sorry. Um, Alright, and then I have this one, and excuse how crappy it looks. I took a no wipe top coat and put it all over this, and now it is pretty blurry and stuff it doesn't look that good um but this was one of the first stampers I ever got and I ruined my first one or it came in a three pack and I ruined one of those accidentally with acetone unknowingly so I wanted to prevent that but it doesn't look too good so honestly I don't recommend it and then I have just the regular clear jelly Stamper. And then I have this one. And I ordered the rose gold barrel one not too long ago. And then this one wasn't in my last video because I just got it the other day. But it is definitely amazing. It is a little bit bigger than this one. Quite a bit bigger. Can't really see. Um, This one is awesome. I actually just did a review on this video. Um, I believe I uploaded it yesterday if you guys want to check it out. I love it. And then this is my one Sonia XL see-through stamper and it was like 12 bucks. I did get it on eBay. I can link it in the description box as well. But it's got a nice big head and there's no lip inside so to get a nice amount of give because it's nice and hollow I don't use this one much anymore but I still love it it's a really good stamper and they have this one pretty pink one and I ordered a black see-through barrel one like this I 
has a nice amount of give to it since it is hollow. And it is comparable to this one, which is my all-time favorite. It is the cousin of the Big Blue. Well, I'll say sister of the Big Blue, and then this one's the cousin. But they are very similar. One's just a little smaller. And this one is obviously not made out of plastic. But this one is still really, really good. I really do like this stamper. And they come in blue and pink and then this comes in the blue silver and gold this is my favorite i love this stamper so much it was only a couple bucks and it feels like it was more expensive love it and then this one is um what i got on ebay and the lid is cracked and the stamper head is, ha, it has a purple tint to it. Um, I was making a decal with some purple Simful Colors polish and it stained this. It stained my Born Pretty um, nail mat thing and yeah, you can still see through it. It doesn't bother me, I actually think it looks kind of cool, but... Yeah, so this one I like because it has a nice big area where you can see through and not too firm, not too squishy. And then this one was my all-time favorite for a while. Um, I actually had to replace this one because it was the one that the acetone was dripping from my bottle onto the lid and I tried to open it forever my husband who's i mean a strong guy in the military he couldn't even open it he had to like crack it off and um so i ordered a new one but this stamper is um really great i really love this one i like how it has the tapered sides because i think it looks pretty good when you're stamping you can see really well And I'll show you guys what I did with my other stamper real quick. Alright guys, so this was my first one. This is my new one. And since the lid was broke and around here got all kind of messed up, I just said screw it. And I took my some holographic nail polish and sponged it all over. And you can still see through. I really never use it. I think it just looks pretty but I mean you could definitely still use it as you can see but yes this one and I was so upset I just got it not even like a week ago and that happened so I had to order a new one but here's that one that's not going to be in the comparison today since I do have the same one minus all that stuff so this is the last one I have it is the born pretty big bling dupe that's what I call it I don't know if that's the name of it but this one um I got on Aliexpress and it has the two heads the actual big bling doesn't have the second head and there's a nice big it's pretty much like this this one just a little shorter and quite a bit wider but yeah the stamper is great too and the heads are interchangeable you can stamp you know with either head in this one if you wanted to obviously you can't see through it but you can take it out put this one in and stamp with this as well i really do like this stamper too and I was going to buy the Big Bling, but I don't know. I think I ended up buying something else. And then I saw this later on on AliExpress, and I was just like, oh, I think I want to get it. Oh, I saw that it only came with one head. And, I mean, that's obviously not a game changer for everyone else. But, I don't know. I just thought, you know, this one comes with two heads. It looks the same. And um, it was a lot cheaper. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp on, um, I was going to do the same image, 
So I might just do this image down here. And this is a Harunauta. Correct me on the pron pronunciation if I am wrong. L035. And I was just going to do this little image down here. And since this video is already a little lengthy, um, I probably won't talk through it and I'll probably just um, fast forward it a little bit so it's not too long. But I mean, I do have 12 stampers over here, so kind of got to work with me. But yeah, so yeah, I think I'm just going to do the one image on this plate for each of them and I'm just going to stamp it on to the stamper and then show you guys and then leave it and go on to the next one so at the end I can um, show you guys how well they all picked up. So I'm going to be using my Born Pretty black stamping polish and a Born Pretty scraper.
right everyone so that is it all of the clear jelly stampers i own and overall every single one of them did great um i don't really have any that i really dislike they all just did really well and um and the best part is they're all really affordable like you don't need to spend all kinds of money on stampers for them to be good quality um i paid a couple bucks for each one of these with the exception of one and they all work great sorry it's not focusing so yeah you don't need I mean it's your money you do what you want but I'm just showing you that um, sometimes most of the time I really like the cheaper products that I get I feel that I use them more And I know I already got it. I showed you guys once, so just wanted you guys to see that they're all amazing. I love every single one of these, and out of all of these, I'd have to say that this one is my number one. That is my go-to stamper, and this is my newest, and it is definitely... I think almost tied with with my number one so definitely recommend this too but I recommend every single one of these they are all really really great and for a couple bucks you cannot go wrong obviously it takes a little bit of time to arrive but the price I think is worth the snail mail you get free shipping and they're only a couple bucks so you know you can't go wrong so I will link all of the ones I'm pretty sure I can find every single one of these for um, a link for you guys so I will put them in order of how I showed you guys first when I went through all of them and you guys can go check them out for yourselves but all 12 of these stampers are approved by me and I honestly do recommend them this little guy um it's only a dollar and you know if you're starting out and you want a little stamper and whatnot I'd go for it but you know it's not a bad stamper but I never use it so probably skip on it but that's just my opinion it it stamps well so that's up to you but yeah so if you guys have any questions or requests comment down below and I will get back with you I'm kind of sorry this video was a bit long but kind of hard to do a huge comparison with 12 different stampers in a short amount of time so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe for more and i will see you guys next time